Welcome to Ragnar 365 Nuggets. Thank you for joining here today. Hello. Today I'm going to talk about Office 65 and working out loud. Because yesterday I do a meetup in Göttingen, which is between Hanover and Kassel, the most important and most beautiful cities in Germany. So if you've never been there, please travel there. And one of the reasons why I'm so passionate about the topic is exactly five years ago, we founded with a bunch of 15, 16 people in the Deutsche Bank uh, headquarter in Frankfurt. We founded the German speaking working out loud community. And currently, I think half of the German large enterprises from the drugs are transforming the way they are working using working out loud. Working out loud is a method to better achieve your goals easier achieve your goals by social networking, by new way of working. And if you want to find out more, please go to www.workingoutloud.com or read the book from John Stepper, who is owning the trademarks here. So what we've done is five years ago, we founded the community, created a website and Twitter account. So if you go to wall underscore de, that's the account what I'm handling with a few other guys. And um, now I would like to, to show you a little bit how you can use Office 65 to improve working out loud. And if you've been to Microsoft Ignite, which I think two years ago, they have introduced a concept of inner loops, outer loops, and open loops. And Microsoft is telling that you can use always uh, email for the open communication in, in the open loops, and the inner loops is more based in teams and small groups, small working groups and the outer loop conversation is done in Yammer. And in the middle, there is somewhere SharePoint as a kind of document layer inside of the cloud in Office 65. And I have, um, I like this picture actually, but I think for working out loud, we have to change it and tweak it a little bit. And I have transformed it into the inner loop, outer loop and open loop, but using more components. So if you're really passionate around achieving your goals in a better, easier way, using working out loud, you need to create and join working out loud circles. And each circle is a one hour time investment, it takes 12 weeks of time. There are going to be a lot of great exercises. You're going to be part of a crew between three, five, seven people, and we call it working out loud circles. And this can be done in the inner loop. And here I'm strongly recommending to use Microsoft Teams because Microsoft Teams is offering video conferences, audio conferences, OneNote is embedded, you can chat, you can upload files, you have a wiki and so on. But if you would also want to share more about your progress in your whole company or want to inform your colleagues or other people in your company that you're doing working out loud, then I would rather recommend to use tools like Yammer, public settings, public groups to use the outer loop where you want to share the goodness and the new way of working with a larger community. Maybe you want to make sure that these events are not only happening in Germany, but also in other countries. So it's all about here. It's all about sharing the goodness, growing, evangelizing and so on. And here you can easily use Yammer. So in the inner loop based on teams, you are working with your circles for your private, personal goals, topics and targets. And the outer loop is used to tell more about the new way of working with the working out loud. And then the third component would be open loop. Here you can use social media, Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn, Instagram, YouTube, podcasts, maybe TikTok or no, don't use Tinder. I'm not allowed to use Tinder. I'm married. So you can use social media channels for the open loop conversation where you tell the open world where everybody can read it about how you're working and which benefits you are you definitely gaining from working out loud. So that's very important. And my personal experience is that I'm always switching and oscillating between the inner loop, the outer loop and the open loop. Yeah, and this concept uh, really helps me when I get the customer question like, oh, when should I use which tool, when to use Teams, when to use Yammer and so on, when to use Outlook, when to use Stream. So that's for me very helpful. And there are a lot of other tools. So if I would like to create a working out loud circle, I'm definitely recommending to use Microsoft Teams. Use Stream, which is part of Teams, because then you can record all your videos. And if somebody of your working out loud circle cannot join because of vacation or 
he's or she's somewhere busy, you can re record a session and upload it directly. OneNote is always great because then you can share the results and the exercises in each working out loud circle. I'm always recommending then to use the classic tools, Word, Excel, PowerPoint, and so on. And with Planner and To-Do, you can really track if you want to plan an event or you want to delegate some task that's helpful. And forms can be used to gather feedback in case you want to do a more anonymous feedback thing. For the open loop conversation, Inside of your company with a larger audience, OneDrive is great, but also now SharePoint comes into the game where you want to make a and create a new open SharePoint page, a SharePoint landing page around working out loud, where you can also embed Yammer and other things. Um, so I'm re strongly recommending Yammer here and to use the SharePoint web part um, or to use the Yammer web part for SharePoint. And then Stream is recommended you can also use forms to, um, yeah, to search for people who want to create and join a working out loud circle. Power Automate, formerly known as Flow, can be used to, for example, push uh, Yammer messages into Teams and so on. So it can be done for automating things based on a special uh, hashtag. Like your, your, every time when you're posting to Yammer with a hashtag uh, vol, then using Power Automate, it goes directly into Teams, which is visible in SharePoint. And for the outer loop, open world conversation, yes. There we have our good old email and we can write emails, for example, when we want to organize a catering for our Working Out Loud event and to communicate with externals, which are not part of the Working Out Loud circle. And then, of course, for the outer loop conversation, as I said, social media is always helpful. So these are my short impressions, how I'm using Working Out Loud. I'm going to talk more about it in a few other events over the next weeks. And please, if there are any questions, come back to me, ask me everything, and you will find me on these channels, which I've just mentioned, except Tinder. <laughs> Have a good day and enjoy your weekend. Bye.